The pig's delight was ineffable when she got engaged to a millionaire. Y'all, if that did not wake you up, I quite frankly do not know what will. And effable is when something is so extreme, it cannot be described in words, hence this picture. Here's why you should care about this video, okay? The words and context questions on your SAT that are gonna show up are some of the absolute most missed questions. Why? Because no one knows these words. And today I'm going over 25 of them. So make sure you pay attention, take some notes, you know, whatever you need to be successful. I sound like a teacher. Let's get to it. Her text response was succinct and left no doubt in his mind on where he stood. Succinct is when something is short and to the point. Like this video, like and subscribe. I'm trying to mitigate my coffee addiction by switching to decaf. This is honestly an accurate representation of like all the teachers in my school. But anyways, no, mitigate is when you are trying to make something less severe. The benevolent beaver showed his bounty of wood with his neighbors, y'all. This is like the cute version of that ugly bear from Over the Hedge. One day he decided to become a benevolent king. Benevolent means well-meaning. It means kind. It means having goodwill. Because I'm so benevolent. Bruh. Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, down below, I've linked for you guys a free sample to five words and context questions so you guys can get more practice with these things. And if you're interested, there is also a PDF link down below for 20 words and context questions for only $2.99 for a limited time only. No one could elucidate the concepts of chemistry better than Professor Buck. Look at this thing. I think I'm gonna keep him. Elucidate means to make something lucid. If you don't know what that means, it means to make something clear, to throw light upon, to explain. There you go. Disputes over how to spend money caused intense discord with the newlyweds. Y'all literally the Dubai Bling show in a package, in a sentence. Discord? Discord. Clearly not the same thing. Discord is disagreement. It's a lack of harmony between people or things or ideas. Yeah, you get the point. The subtle nuance of wearing socks with sandals can only be understood by our generation. No comment. A nuance is like a slight detail. The goat's pragmatic solution to selling donuts was to advertise them on his horns. Clearly not an accurate representation. <laughs> if you're pragmatic, then you're thinking logically, you're thinking realistically, practical, Pragmatic, you know, you see, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Krapakis realized his abacus was obsolete when he found a calculator. Obsolete means outdated. It means it's no longer relevant, people. His altruistic offer to mow my lawn unfortunately resulted in the destruction of my garden. If someone is altruistic, it means that they care. It means that they are thinking without a gain for themselves. That sounded so motivational, so moving. Mr. Box was skeptical when the cat claimed to be selling authentic dinosaur bones. Skeptic. Skepticism. Skepticism, yeah, is an attitude of doubt and tendency to disbelieve something or someone. Despite the pup's innocuous appearance, he was known to break dishes and eat homework. Hmm. If you're innocuous, you're harmless. Hey, that rhymes. He was shocked when his test grades came back with an absolutely abysmal grade. Abysmal means hopelessly. Hopelessly bad or severe. Like the abyss. The animosity between my pets was a constant source of chaos in my house. Animosity is a strong feeling of hatred or dislike. The affluent family of the frog prince posed for the holiday portrait. Affluent means to be wealthy. It means to be rich, if you couldn't already tell. My bestie, I hate that word so much. My bestie is a little eccentric with her fashion choices, but she is still a blast to hang out with. I need this hat. I'm starving. Eccentric is strange. It means odd. The best man gave an eloquent speech at his best friend's wedding. An eloquent person knows their language well. And I don't mean just like being fluent in a language. I mean, they're able to express themselves beautifully and with class. Susan lamented not having studied for the SAT more seriously. How unfortunate. Lament means to deeply regret, mourn, feel sorrow, you know? When I arrived at what was supposed to be my dream destination, I was shocked at the stark and desolate landscape. I love this pig. This is me when I overdress for a plane flight and there was no cute guys. I said it. Stark means empty without any detail or decoration or anything extra, it's boring. Cell phones are ubiquitous these days. Top tier acting. Ew. Ubiquitous means everywhere, all at once. It means they're extremely common. There's nothing special about you. The excitement in the crowd of fans was palpable when the band walked out on stage, y'all, me at the Lionel Richie concert for real. Okay, this one's a little bit confusing, but palpable actually means to be tangible, which means that it can be touched or felt, but it can also be used in the context of when you're describing something that was so huge that it could be felt physically, if you know what I mean. Like when you go to a rock concert and the bass is like in your chest and it's like, you know, when he proposed, 
suppose she suddenly felt quite ambivalent. How unfortunate for the man. Ambivalent means unsure. You're on the fence. You're having conflicting, mixed feelings. My drive to work was hindered by an unexpected herd of oblivious goats. I couldn't have said it in any other accent, let's be real here. To hinder is to hold back, it's to prevent, it's to limit one's ability to do something. Bonus word in this sentence, if you didn't catch it, is oblivious, and that is to be completely unaware. After the lack of rain, the state of Farmer Brown's farm was tenuous, to say the least. What is with these cute animals? Tenuous is something that's like on its last leg of living. It is something that has very little strength, it's very weak, it's flimsy. Selling bamboo juice proved to be a lucrative venture Sure, right next to Panda Daycare. Lucrative, producing wealth, it's profitable. If you have not already, okay, make sure to go and join the digital SAT community chat on Instagram. It is a great place to connect with other SAT studiers and learners. There are constant SAT resources posted on there as well as great tips and insight. And honestly, it is such a supportive community. So definitely make sure to go and check it out. And again, make sure to go and download the free sample that I linked down below for you guys to get more practice with these words and context questions. They will help boost your score and you have nothing to lose. It is free. I love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, all the good stuff, and I will see you guys in my next one.